Welcome everyone to the Astro Transmission for the week of the 17th of March. It's a huge week. We have the equinox. We have the sun moving into Aries. We have the beginning of the astrological new year and prep for eclipse season and Mercury retrograde. Lots of big healing energy right now. So I'm going to give you a couple of things that you can do to align yourself with the bigness of this energy. Now, what I'm going to say about this energy, if I just had to encapsulate all of it right now, is that it's about aligning with your purpose. Now that sounds wonderful and amazing. And it also means that something's got to go. So eclipse the eclipses always bring losses. They bring, they, they take something, but they also make room for something. So we're in a big space of letting go. There's a couple layers to it. The first layer is that the sun is moving into Aries from Pisces. So Pisces being the birth canal, this oneness coming in through the birth canal, the metaphoric birth canal to to be a human, to birth ourselves as humans, the divine in human form. It's a messy job. It's a messy job physically to actually be born. And it's a messy job spiritually to be born. And that's what this represents, that movement from Pisces into Aries. I love that metaphor because every year we go around the wheel and we come back to completion. So we are already in a completion cycle. We're already mm, experiencing the grieves, the, the grief, the, the sadness, the loss, the letting go. Chances are something like that is coming to your mind, to your heart of what it is that you're, that, that sacred contract that is complete. And it, it could be an identity. It could be a, a pattern. It could be a relationship or, or an actual job or a home. It can be anything. It can show up in any ways, but even when you move homes, just think of it as moving in consciousness. One of my early astrologers said that, and I love that idea that when you move homes, you're moving in your consciousness. So you can create the intention for any kind of movement that it's going to serve your next highest level of your dharma, of your purpose. And, and I think purpose is what's really on the menu. And why do I think that? Because Aries, the I am and also the healing energy. So why are we in this healing portal? And I'll explain more about that. And you can see some of my other videos on relationship healing, the North node, the eclipse, <laughs> all of it. There's, I mean, this is the big conversation that's happening, but I think it's about stepping into your purpose because Aries. Okay. So when we're born spiritually, metaphorically every year, we are declaring that I am here. We are saying, yes, this is a chance for your will to align with divine will. Divine will has you here because you're here, but, but we can be under protest. <laughs> we don't have to like it. We have free will. We can be pissed off about it. And a lot of spiritual people are because they feel like, you know, I'm really comfortable in other places. I'm not comfortable on this planet. Yes, you're right. You're not. <laughs> no one is because this is not the planet of that. It's the planet of contrast. It's the planet of dark and light, which is the theme of this week. And also the theme of this Gene Key 36, go check that out because it's about the dark night of the soul, but it really brings forth the light. So I won't go into that, but find out how that does that. It's a, it's a beautiful transmission. So we're dealing with the light energy and the light energy is the radiance of our heart. It's the radiance of our purpose. It's the radiance of God, goddess through us. And that is that magnetic quality that brings things to us. So we want to be on the side of that. And one of the things we get to be on the side of is really aligning your will with divine will. So you're here, you incarnated. What's your why? Why did you incarnate? Write that down, put it on a post-it note, put it on your bathroom so that your mirror, so that you always know that I chose this and I am choosing this in this moment. And here's my why, here's why I'm choosing that. So as the sun 
moves out of Pisces, 2959 Pisces moves into Aries, zero degrees Aries. That's going to happen on March 19th at 8.03 PM, my time, Pacific time. Could be the 20th if you're in Europe or ahead of me. But that is the time, zero degrees Aries, that the world axes point, like we're all in this together in this moment. And the sun moves into Aries, the north node is into Aries. So that's our future destiny. They're like kissing here. We, here we have, we have some connection and that zero degrees is the equinox. Now the equinox is not a planet or a sign. It's, it's a point in time. It's that point in time where there is equal light and equal dark. Did you ever see that movie where like they can only meet in the liminal times, you know, um, what is that movie? Anyway, it was a great movie where they had to like kiss and meet in that liminal time. And then it got light. And I think he came out and dark and she came out, whatever, something like that. But that's exactly how I picture it in my mind. So we're at this place where our bodies are being communicated to by light and our brain. So take this on that. It's a real thing that the brain, the most important thing for the brain is light. So when you uh, work on a computer screen or you work in the dark or you don't go out in the sunlight or you go out with sunglasses on, you're depriving your brain of receiving communication from the light. It resets your circadian rhythm, which has to do with the serotonin and melatonin. So your mood, as well as your ability to sleep. We are so light sensitive. You think about it. That's, we grew up outside as part of our ancestry, our early humans. We were outside. We were always in relationship to the light, the sunrise and the sunset. So our bodies are being communicated to by the light. And it knows that it's equal light and equal dark, even if we can't see it because it's cloudy out. So trust that your, your spirit is receiving the codes of equanimity, equipoise, balance, harmony. And I love that metaphor because you think about the North hemisphere and the South hemisphere, and we're all experiencing that moment of equipoise, even though when we just like a few minutes, seconds later, we're going to switch sides and now we will have more light in the Northern hemisphere and less light in the Southern hemisphere. So this, this signaling of zero degrees is the equinox and also the beginning of the astrological new year, the new cycle, the new, and we begin with Aries. Aries is the youngest sign in the Zodiac. It is full of vigor. It is full of boldness arriving here as the I am, as it bursts forth from the birth canal, from the void, from the darkness into particularity, particularity as me and you, God in this form. And I think that's a beautiful way of holding it because we can't be everything in this three-dimensional space. We are only meant to be in this form, but we are everything in this form. It's a mind blow. It's beautiful and it's paradoxical. And that signaling of the I am, of the light codes are asking you, who are you? Who are you? So align your will. And it's asking you, why are you here? So remember now, like, this is a bigger context, but I'm just going to presence it. We've got the eclipse that we're going into. So in one week, we go into a lunar eclipse. It's a full moon lunar eclipse. So that means that the uh, eclipse season was instigated, initiated really by the full moon. I mean, the new moon in Pisces. So we're really in that energy. We've already really been, we're being worked on right now. We're experiencing the letting goes and we're making some room for what wants to come in this new cycle. The eclipse is going to super help us because the eclipses are about reboot and they always take something there. They're, something has to be given, you know, just imagine it as a sacrifice, like a ritual. And so here's one of the tips I would say is do a ritual. It's time to ritualize that, which is being asked 
to let go of or what's organically just leaving and you have no control over it. The, this is a perfect time to make some kind of a ritual. It can be a water ritual, a fire ritual, an earth ritual, um, just simply your intentions, whatever is meaningful for you to really let go of something and cry it out because Pisces wants you to feel the feelings. And then, and then you're going to be super supported because this movement into Aries has a couple things that in other years it doesn't have. You know, we know, we know we move this on this uh, Zodiac wheel every year. However, we have two very special things plus an eclipse. Okay. And then we have a Mercury retrograde. So like it is, it's so packed with the energy of what, what is your purpose? So let me tell you, we're, the sun will be conjunct the North node because the North node is also in Aries. So they're together. That means that we have this ability to see our future, to know where, where are we going? What's our purpose? Then the other thing is the, um, the North node and Chiron. Those are the, actually, those are the ones that are conjunct. The North node and Chiron are together in Aries. The sun is in Aries, but it's at zero degrees and the North node and Chiron are at Aries. And I'm not sure what degrees it is, but they're conjunct. So our future destiny is, is right with our healing. So we have massive, massive healing energy as the sun moves into Aries, the moon moves into Aries. We have a stellium in Aries. We've got Chiron in Aries. We've got the North node in Aries. Uh, we'll have Mercury there as well. So we'll be able to articulate and we'll be saying to ourselves, what is my purpose? And aligning with taking action, aligning with that. Mars is in Aquarius. It's like saying, let's take action toward our future. Pluto's in Aquarius, breaking shit down that doesn't have anything to do with the future that we're going into. So you can see like all of the players lined up in such a way to support you to ask yourself, what is my purpose? And it doesn't always mean the thing I'm doing. It's, it's the big why. Why am I here? Why did I say yes to incarnate at this time? Then we have uh, on April 1st, we have Mercury going retrograde. And we're going to be, as soon as Mercury moves into Aries, like tomorrow, we are going to be in the pre-shadow, but then we'll have three weeks of Mercury in, in Aries, uh, retrograde in Aries, which will give us this opportunity to reflect on those questions. Retrogrades are reflect, reflection points. And then the final thing I want to say, which wraps up this transmission for the bigness this week is on April 8th, we have the ending of the eclipse. We'll be in the wormhole. We'll be in the reboot for the solar, the total solar eclipse on April 8th. And that's going to be pretty epic. So all of that is happening. By the time that eclipse ends, we're still going to be in the retrograde cycle. Uh, Venus will move into Aries. I mean, like everybody's going to be in Aries. It's going to be major, major go time. It's going to be like fire. It's, it's going to be like burning fire. <laughs> so, so you want the burning fire to be your movement forward and not the burning fire to burn shit up. Like, like let's get on the side of that through our rituals, through noticing in the equinox time where we're out of balance to receiving the light codes for what wants to come in. Maybe you've been overworking and you need more nurturance. Maybe you've been really in self-care and you need to get in action on your Dharma. Whatever it is, we often over and underdo something. And now we're being asked to come into this equipoise. So do that work now so that by the time we're in the eclipse wormhole, it's, it's just like really redoing us. We're in the washing machine. It's purifying and cleansing us. Some things will be let go of that may be a surprise, but notice the healing quality of the entire thing. And then we pop out and we're really these new beings with, with being fueled by the fire of our Dharma. 
So I'm going to end it there. There's lots of other videos. If you want to keep unpacking this for you, notice where Aries is in your chart. Notice where Pisces is in your chart. That's the place uh, we've got some Taurian energy. So we, we've, we're kind of staying along uh, one side of the Zodiac with uh, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Aquarius, all over there, just kind of in a row, giving the gifts to set us off into a new cycle. And I'll see you in the next video.